and like your marketing, bro. Like I like how you're doing your new your new like uh marketing when you're dropping the videos with the cuts and yeah. reels and <laughs> all that shit. Yeah, man. You Listen, got, <laughs> you with the times, brother. I'm trying to. Uh, I see that's what that's what it's going. It's, uh that's the way it's going. So I'm just like, all right, well, let me just try to get on there and just Them give it my own way. Like, Good, like you had like a team behind you, or you just, nah, just busting moves. That's just me, me and my wife for. Uh, oh shit, yeah, he's <laughs> nice as hell with it, bro. <laughs> thank I you, fucking thank with, you. I, I appreciate with you, that, bro. What you're doing, man, it's different, it's standing out, and I see you trying to build it from the bottom up. Yeah, for, yeah. for real, facts. Because, like I said, like I said in one of my videos, like I thought like I could just get like the playlist placements and shit, but just like I just get like this crazy fan base, but like. No, that shit is not the way, bro. Like, uh, yeah. Oh! It's your boy Muggy getting money. That's more than likely. Today we got another episode of No Scope TV. I got the homie. He is Melo D in the building. What's going on, bro? Sure, family. What's going on, my boy? Man, how are you, bro? I'm chilling. I'm chilling. I you see know. you back out here. You doing your thing, bro? Yeah, man. Yeah, man. You know, had a life be life in, but I'm life back out there. Life, <laughs> for sure. For sure. Facts. Facts. You was doing a lot of uh, running around in the city, Jersey. Yeah, man. And you back. But let's take it back to the beginning. Like, okay. How long have you been? How long have you been doing music? Um. So we gotta kind of like put it in like two little phases for real. Okay. Cause um, when like towards the end of high school, uh, I was with uh, the gnarly movement uh, okay. with Bake and my boy Ty, Shaking Problem, all them. Chizzy, we was uh we was moving around. Uh that actually we like I thought that was gonna be like I'm like, all right, yeah, like we open in for bigger artists and shit already, like right. from the rip. Right. So yeah, that was like high school and probably like a, a year after high school. So then that was like 2012, 2013. Fast forward to 2018 is uh that's like when I really I guess started taking it serious as my like as his melody as like a solo artist as myself. Right. So that's when I would say like that's when I really really but like nah I can't forget that gnarly movement yeah. stand because we was doing some shit back then. For yeah, me. I remember you running around the hype city showcases and stuff yeah. doing those. And I mean that was good times, bro. There ain't too much like that going on right now. Nah, not at all. <laughs> I mean shit is far and far and few between. Yeah, man. It's um the community a little it's a little lacking now. Yeah, like we need some some kind of spark. It ain't really no venues. It ain't nothing. It's, it's just dead, it's dry. Bro. It's big dry. This shit's dry. But I see you dropping. You, you got uh, music every Monday. New track, right? Yes, the sir. Last yes, door, sir. If I'm not mistaken, it was the Ronda Rousey. Ronda Rousey. Shit. Ronda Rousey. Yes, shit sir. Was fire, bro. Thank you, my good brother. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Appreciate to hear that. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, man. I'm um I'm getting back into um just dropping new music because. I've been going for a minute, like I'm scattered, like I had a little, a little popping out of last year, but uh, like it really wasn't like a serious thing. So like I'm really just trying to get back serious and start giving a lot of content with the music. Like I said, like you said, Ronda Rousey, that's out right now. Uh, next Monday, well this so Monday tomorrow. Your last project that was the the trippy hippie joint, right? The last project actually was the Blunt Music 2. Oh, the Blunt Music 2. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, that joint that's, fire. That's the joint that got the, uh, the Smoke About My Business and shit, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shit. Had that joint in rotation, bro. Definitely, thank you, thank definitely you, thank a you. fan. I fuck, with the, I fuck with the music, bro. Thank you, man. Thank you, man. I appreciate that, bro. Then you had, like, Happy Trap. That's, like, the shit. Yeah, that was, just, that was like, my first little, um, like, my first EP that I would put that I put out. Like, my first You uh, had this joint when I first heard track. you and shit. Uh, you had a joint with uh, Fuse of Future Phantom. Mm. That shit, that shit was fire, bro. Yeah, that was on the Drippy Hippie. Oh, okay, yeah. all right. So I'm mixing them shits up. I know yeah. all the shit was fire, bro. <laughs> yeah, nah, nah. Thank you, thank you, though. But yeah, like, yeah, man. Nah. But uh, <laughs> like your style, like, what are some of your biggest inf influences? I mean, I know you smoke a lot of weed, so yeah. that's an influence <laughs> overall. But like, influence musically. Um, I mean, musically, like honestly, like I would really say more, more so locally. I guess like stylistically wise. More so kind of in a, like Wiz, Larry June, Currency kind of feel. Kind of Big Sean, because like sometimes I'll rap a little faster and stuff okay. like that. But um, that's stylistically wise. But like just like inspiration, I really get them from like the local niggas for real. Oh, okay. Because like, bro, we got some 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 oh, goats out oh, there. So just like working with them, seeing them niggas, is just like trying to 
Yeah, yeah. You're taking the right direction. Nah, Working around the professionals, man. Nah, for real, for real, yeah, for real. That's definitely the, the best place to get it. And like your marketing, bro. Like I like how you're doing your new your new like uh marketing when you're dropping the videos with the cuts and yeah. reels and <laughs> all that shit. Yeah, man. You listen, got, <laughs> you with the times, brother. I'm trying to. Uh, I see that's what's that's what it's going. It's uh that's the way it's going. So I'm just like, all right, well let me just try to get on there and just Them give it my own way. Like, good like you had like a team behind you or you just, nah, just busting moves that's just me me and my wife for real. oh shit he's nah, nice as hell with it bro <laughs> thank I you, thank with, you. I, I appreciate you, that bro. what you doing man it's different it's standing out and i see you trying to build it from the bottom up yeah for, yeah. for real facts because like i said like i said in one of my videos like i thought like i could just get like the playlist placements and shit but just like i just get like this crazy fan base but like no, that shit is not the way, bro. Like, uh, yeah, so facts, facts. We just trying to build it from the ground and up. And the shit got to be real, bro. Cause yeah. these niggas out here, I know niggas that got a million views on YouTube, but nobody don't know who the fuck they is. That's a fact. And that shit's crazy. And that's no disrespect to them, but like, some sometimes the views don't really equate to what what is really going on. Like, and I and I get where they be coming from, cause like, I understand like it's a numbers game at yeah. the end of the day too. But it's like. You gotta have the numbers and the turnout match. So right, definitely. But even when you think of it, with the I guess you would say the industry people, like even mo- a lot of they shit be fake. So it's like, oh, that's a fact. What the f- like? What are we really doing? Well, <laughs> like, like what I is don't this know. shit anymore? Especially from a business standpoint, like yeah. I know from the creative side, we just we doing what we love to do. Right. But like from a business standpoint, this shit is just up in the air for right. real. Like, I feel like if you just got like. A couple hundred thousand, you can just be famous, bro. You can just buy your way to anything. That's a fact. Like, that's a big fact. <laughs> you can buy your way onto the Breakfast Club, all that shit. That's a big fact. <laughs> like, that's a big fact. The internet's a weird place, bro. But speaking of the internet, you kind of are a villain on the, on the social media too. <laughs> I wouldn't. So I just, <laughs> you be getting you be getting it riled up, bro. I do, and I don't even know why though, bro. Like, <laughs> I, I just, just be sit back <laughs> watching, like, Damn. I just, I, bro, I just be saying my opinion. <laughs> and, niggas just, and people just be getting mad like and be wanting to argue with me and i'm just like i'm not speaking out of just like my ass or nothing right, like, i'm right. speaking like from shit that i've read and looked up and stuff so it's like and formulated a, i feel like a valuable opinion so yeah man that <laughs> i mean it's good for the engagement it's good for yeah i guess it's, <laughs> i guess it's marketed in a way for yeah, sure but, bro it don't even <laughs> that shit don't be on purpose like because sometimes i like if you have noticed though like i've chilled off that because yeah. like i feel like a lot of that, some of that shit be like negative and it's like yeah, i don't bro. be trying to be off no negative tip when i'm doing it so it's like i don't i don't really understand how people even had a space to really be mad like fuck you motherfucker yeah and like, you should just be going off all day yeah I be kind of doing the same shit sometimes. I be posting shit like "Future's better than Tupac." And niggas, go. <laughs> <laughs> niggas go bananas, bro. But it's good for yeah. their engagement. Nah, I, don't even, I don't even, I don't even just say nothing. I yeah. just like I post d- that shit and be like, react, <laughs> I d- react. To yeah, this shit. I definitely posted something like that. I yeah. think I posted like "Thug better than Michael Jackson" or something. Oh like yeah, I seen that, John. <laughs> that shit niggas like, <laughs> be like, 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 what are you talking about? Nah, them shit be funny, bro. Cause it's even I seen one John. It was like uh, Ice Spice sold more than the Beatles or some, something crazy. <laughs> like ain't no fucking way. Like right, like it's, just, like, it's obvious. Like all right, like or it's obvious that like this ain't a true thing that we yeah. talking about here. But it's like I don't know. I've been trying to figure her out, bro. Like, all right, she bad, but it's mad bad bitches that rap. What? I guess she like a meme or some shit. I don't, I don't know. I don't know, but she going, like, they trying to cardi her. Like, they trying to put her in that space. She got a song with Taylor Swift, like. Yeah, and that shit was fast as hell, wasn't <laughs> yeah. it? Yeah. Bro, like, I I don't even think it was last summer that I found <laughs> out about her. Yeah, like. like and it's like, it's not, no disrespect to her or nothing, but it's like, damn. Yeah, nah. But I feel like lately, like, the girls have been blowing up fast yeah, as shit. Hell yeah, like, it's way more new, like, yeah. female artists than men. I feel like, oh, I hear like them on a bigger scale. Oh no, I, facts for yeah, real. Yeah, like just, you can just like go down the list. And yeah, run, bro. but it's just like I don't know. But shout out to them. But. Yeah, shout out to them. <laughs> I just trying. I've been, I just been trying to figure out like what it, what is it, bro, that is take, making people take off. Like certain people, they just take off. But like you listen to their music, it's like all right, you are all right. 
But damn, you ain't fucking. Yeah. I don't know. Bro. I guess you gotta be plugged in or whatever. I don't know. I really think that's what it is. It's just like honestly and for real, for real, it really just be like it be a viral video. Yeah. One or two viral, viral videos, and next thing you know, like yeah, like today you a viral, just a viral rapper. The next day you got a fucking song with Taylor Swift. Yeah. Because that's literally what happened with her. Like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, and she was at the fucking Met Gala. Like, yeah. Like, <laughs> chicks, like, like bro. 300 bands or something. You got to get invited. Some nah, shit. she definitely got, like, bro, she might have, like, the greatest six-month run in right. hip-hop history, for real. Like, yeah. <laughs> like bro, she, she, said, she really she went really, crazy. <laughs> she the realest since motherfucking Fetty Wap. So. Bro, for real. Like, Except for without the hits. I mean, I guess they hit. No, they but hits? They, they technically, they? I mean, they chart. I, they, bro, I, do, I told you I do Uber. Like, yeah. so... I like listen to podcasts or whatever my headphones, but yeah. I play like the just the R and B hits. Yeah. Bro, I hear that song at least eight times a day. Like the uh, the Boys a Liar song. Yeah, yeah. I hear that song like eight times a day. My daughter loved that shit. <laughs> God damn like Ice Spice. <laughs> like she really she she got hits. Yeah. Technically. Now you can't hate on her. It's just like I guess you just got the lottery or something. Yeah, I don't know. She definitely got the cheat code. Cause I know you gotta be. It can't just be because you bad. Like, it uh-huh. gotta be more than that. Yeah. Like, shouts out to her. Yeah. But anyway, I'm sitting in here with the drippy hippie himself, bro. Yes, that's me. I know you've been smoking on some good. What are you? What are you smoking these days, bro? Weed, man. <laughs> 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 whatever. <laughs> weed, man. Well, oh yeah, definitely weed. But uh, whatever. Nah, man. For real, for real. Whatever. Whatever I get from my dealer. Uh, <laughs> what, what you got? Support, support your local drug dealers, man. Oh, definitely. Uh, you know it's legal in Jersey and all that stuff now, but like they price is high. So, yeah. oh yeah, I ain't never been to a dispensary yet. Until then, get your guys. Yeah. But yeah, nah, my my guy. Ain't nothing, ain't nothing out here. It feels like God damn. Nah, bro, it's been a minute. I smoke a lot, so it's like it takes yeah. a lot, a lot for yeah. it to punch me. So, yeah. honestly, bro, I'm plugged in with some farmers. Mm, for real. They had some haze, and I just been some smoking haze. haze. Like, I just been smoking haze after haze. That's all I want to smoke <laughs> now. It's like it's not, it's not, and the crazy shit is, it's not that it's pressure. Like it's just weed. Like mm-hmm. I ain't gonna be like, yo, this some. It's just like, bro, this is the perfect shit. Like it's like Man. that perfect wave right there, bro. Haze though. Yeah, haze, haze, haze like and high it school. It had some purple in it, and it had, it had that motherfucking citrus lemon type shit. I was like, fire. yeah, bro, give me all of that. <laughs> yeah, that sounds like fire. they grew that shit themselves. They brought that shit back from the dead. Cause, you know, nowadays niggas got the motherfucking super duper coochie runs, all that <laughs> shit. I had some coochie runs, bro. Coochie runs. Wait, is a real no, that's thing. a real strand. That's a real strand, and that shit hit too. Like, Shout out coochie runs. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out coochie runs. <laughs> and it's really from the the runs niggas that grew the runs, like. Oh, damn. Like yeah, cause I seen the YouTube video before I heard a nigga say that they had it. You know, niggas be running around saying right, anything. just saying anything. That like, sounds like <laughs> yeah, that definitely sounds like some nigga just made that up. Like, niggas be having what was it, Obama, Obama runs and all that shit. Yeah, bro. I had that. That yeah. was gas. Yeah. But yeah, that's <clears> that's the only thing I'm just smoking is that good head. So you you papers, blunts, what what you fucking um, with, bro? Back backwoods or the. Uh, Excuse me, I had a cheese stick earlier. All right. But uh, <laughs> uh, backwards or the Swisher Leafs for real. That's what I'm usually rolling up in. All right. So when you smoking on, what's the top five movies? You can mix it. You can put it together. Okay. M- music, song, or movie, or just entertainment in general, or video game. Top five. Uh, all right. So top five. I got to be watching TV. Like right now, when I'm smoking, we... uh. <laughs> I got my wife watching fucking old wrestling with me, bro. <laughs> so like she <laughs> we watching like 98, 99 Yo, WWF right that now. Still here. Yeah, that's so that's definitely that's YouTube definitely screen. number 1, bro. <laughs> that's definitely number 1. Like just watching something funny or just something entertaining. Yeah. Got to be that. Um number 2 is entertainment wise, I'll probably be saying it would have to be scrolling, bro. Niggas be scrolling. Yeah, I got that's stop our, that shit, bro. That's our day and age. We be scrolling. Yeah. Be high as hell, just scrolling, scrolling on. Scrolling, <laughs> Just bro, scrolling, scrolling laughing, bro. Just Especially fucking cracking YouTube, up. Bro. I was looking at some shit the other day. Fucking, it was like about the nigga that robbed the plane. It was like the first nigga that, he robbed like a bank plane. 
A bank and he jumped plane? off the plane. <laughs> it's like, all right, I don't know what happened, but this bank, this plane had a bunch of fucking money in it. <laughs> okay. And I was like, I don't know what was going on. <laughs> yeah, what did you say that nigga was, bro? DB Cooper, yeah. DB Cooper. Jumped out on a parachute with bread, never to be seen again. Like, he really got it off. And, like, there's all these fucking mysteries behind it. Just YouTube DB Cooper. Yeah, you get I'm a chance, you'll be like, <laughs> I'm gonna check that you shit won't out. be on that joke like two days. Like, I'm nah, this check nigga's that still shit alive. <laughs> They try to, some people think he died. Some people uh, think he uh, ain't Cuban with Tupac. All types of shit. <laughs> um, shit. Number three is eating like some candy shit. Cause like I be high and the candy entertain me because it's like gummy and shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, uh, number four probably would be um, you know, just fucking fucking around in the in the lab, making beats, trying to work on something. And number five is really just. We um like we uh we got this game that we play sometimes. I forget what it's called, but it's like this weird ass basketball game me and my wife play. Yeah. It's like a board game, we got her like five dollars. It's called Fusketball. Fusketball? Fusketball, bro. <laughs> so it's like these two things on the side that you move like like you're playing foosball, but it's then right. it's like the basketball people. Right. It's a little basketball and it's like you move the jaw to throw the basketball. Yeah. In the <laughs> she be busting my ass in that. But <laughs> <laughs> that shit funny as hell to play. Especially yeah. when you fry it. But yeah, it's yeah. probably them. That's that's my five. So you on your grown man shit, I see you you refer to your uh, your wife a lot. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, so you feel like getting married. How long you been married? It will be two years on August 14th. Two years. So you feel like, did that bring like a certain amount of like focus or it helped you as an artist, a man? Yeah. I mean, I was kind of like already on that path, but yeah. like I will, no, I will say yeah, because it's like once we got married, it's just like something clicked in me for like, I needed to start doing more type shit, you know, like you married. So like, yeah, you, yeah, like, yeah, you yeah, know yeah. how they shit. You got like, do what you got to do. Yeah. It's just like. You know shit gotta get done, so it's just like fucking. I'm gonna just start doing it from the rip, so you don't right. gotta talk about it. Type so shit, you don't, so. ain't gonna be no little drippy hippies running around anytime soon, bro. That's whenever God say it's your time, because uh. <laughs> it's like <laughs> we not not, you know. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, you're right. We, we just living, we living. I mean, ain't y'all y'all do the the, the poly out? Yeah, <laughs> but poly, like, ollie, ollie, ollie. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah we we live a poly life, polyamorous. <laughs> poly and shit, but it's like. When we do that, like obviously, like yeah. I'm, we safe and like I'm, yeah. I'm not about to uh, come into other chick that's not my wife or tragedy. Yeah, but I mean, like I guess we've kind of talked about it. Like I guess later down the line, if we do get another girl and we like add her formally in, like yeah, she could have ki- like we could have kids. Yeah, bro. Just, like, how was, have you actually been in like uh, like a relationship, a third person to your so, relationship? Yeah, we had kind of like an unofficial one. Like we was dealing with this one John for like a couple months, but I, f- I don't know, like something. I mean, not to be too deep in your business, but was she in the crib? Like yeah, like like, she, like you was waking up and they both be there all the time. Yeah, like not all the time, but like How? she would because she had. She, so she had kids, so it like she okay. would she would live her life or whatever. But it's right. like some weekends she would come spend uh, spend the weekends and shit with her and stuff like that. But um, yeah, it was just so you it are was just a, rocking. How would I put this? You got a lot of patience, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you just bro, waking, actually you're I, waking up with two women's on your back. <laughs> you got two of them, two women's bro. on your back. I listen. mean, I know the sex is cool, but y'all ain't gonna be fucking it all the time. So you got yeah, with not you. listen. Come off of work, they both ganging up on you. <laughs> nah, that's. <laughs> you just gotta know how to. You just gotta know how to wiggle, bro. You, you gotta, gotta keep it flare. To, yeah, you gotta know how to maneuver through it. <laughs> but nah, my my wife, she like she real cool. So it's okay. just like we hardly ever bump heads or anything like that. So it's like that's why this could ever work in the first place because okay. it's it started from her like. It ha- yeah. I, that's one thing I heard about that is that it has to be the woman's idea. Oh like, yeah, for sure. Bro, this shit's never gonna work. Yeah, because <laughs> it's like but if she not guess into Guess what? It, <laughs> guess what, babe? <laughs> <laughs> this girl won't live with us. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy, right? Yeah, nah, nah. Because if she not into it, then it's just not gonna work. It's right. like if she fuck with you enough, she might try it. Mm-hmm. But it's just like that's still like you can tell when your girl not into something. So right, right. Yeah, but luckily for me. 
that was her whole idea and of course me being me i'm like well of course like why wouldn't i want that like, what <laughs> who am i to let you down <laughs> <laughs> yeah so that's just the life we be living well shout outs to you man you's a, you's a smooth player <laughs> like, thank you my good brother not, i mean i don't know i just can't picture it it's too much <laughs> like, it's really not even that much bro because it's like it can be but it's like for the most part Y'all just chilling. It's yeah. like because you find somebody that fits with you. That be like yeah. the biggest part. But once yeah. they, once you can see that they fit with y'all, and like the main part is like the women having their relationship yeah. solid and them having a good like foundation. Yeah. So and that gotta be yeah. Because yeah, if the women start beefing, then you just gotta go outside and smoke. Yeah. Like y'all take care of that. Yeah. As long as the women's on the same page, everything is Gucci. So you ain't never have any horror stories like some <laughs> somebody trying to kidnap both of y'all or something. Nah, no, no horror stories. We done had some like some snore stories, like some, <laughs> get her boring, out of here. Yeah, some boring ass bitches, but <laughs> y'all had somebody no. trying to move in, just like I'm just like yeah, they was no. just trying to like, try <laughs> no, like none of that this bitch gotta no. go. <laughs> none of that, yeah, none of that, none of that. Oh, all right, so, yeah, all right. That's we keep cool. it on the we keep it on the on the right level. All right. So, so man, you got a project. You got another. Uh, what are you thinking about putting out a project? So honestly, with the project, like I've talked about it before. Like I got a lot of songs I'm sitting on. So as of right now, like I just want to try to keep building the foundation and everything with the song a week, and then like I pretty much have a project done already. Yeah. So it's just like kind of just whenever I feel like people are engaged enough. That's when the project is like, all right, I'm gonna give you guys a date. Here you go, and then we gonna keep it rocking. Cause it's just like, I'm already I like with the home set up now. I'm making new music and shit. That's what own, you gotta have yeah. these days too, cause you gotta be able to just wake up out your sleep and be like, I got it. Yeah, Facts, that's the best bro. shit I ever did was have a home studio. No, for real. Yeah, you get all your ideas out. Hell yeah. <laughs> so when it's all said and done, where do you wanna like? What mark are you trying to make on the game? Like, who do you, like, want to be, like, independent, yeah, big I man, mean, major label? I honestly, like, where, wherever wherever God takes me for real is where I want to go with it. But, like, if it was up to me and it was my plan, like, I see, like, I would want, I, I, I won't say my ceiling, but, like, where I guess my I could see myself, like, I want to be on that currency level, bro. Like, Currency has the best bro, be life for a rapper, bro. See, you was, you be knowing, bro. Like, bro, this nigga can go wherever he wants, does whatever he mm-hmm. wants. People like his fans will know him Niggas and come, know, if you know, and you they know. will show him love. But whoever else, they not really going bothering too much. Yeah, he go, he can sell out pretty much anywhere in the country. Right. And the crazy shit is, bro. I'm a currency fan, bro. Yeah, that's bro. my nigga. But. Like if you tell a nigga like who your who your favorite artist he's like currency he's like didn't that nigga fall off like years ago nah bro Mm-mm. this nigga is living the dream literally bro he put like, out music whenever he want whenever he want bro he's <laughs> driving the same cars as all your favorite rappers he got all the yep. same bread he doing all the same shit he just not even in the motherfucking mix like he just out the way living bro, life bro. just living life and that's what like literally just like living however you want off of your craft that's how i want to be like that's where i want to go with it because you got the people who love you and they love you right. so they gonna follow you wherever you go facts, facts. And that's all you that's really need dream. shout out to him shout out to currency matter of fact shout out to larry june he gonna be in town tomorrow bro i'm, I'm going to that concert tomorrow you know, i see your ass there <laughs> i'm going to <laughs> that's my that god show. bro that's really my god bro, right now <laughs> motivational speaker bro facts bro i'll be listening that's why i listen to when I, when I first wake up like bro Every day, that's what I'm listening so, to. Like, cause you just think he just bullshit talking about some cars. If you really listen, he's talking. That he's shit, talking, bro, bro, real shit. Like uh, he, <laughs> he talking real like positive shit yeah, too. Like, right. like he he fire, bro. He fire. Larry June. Yeah, bro, you gotta get on Larry yeah, June, bro. Larry June, he the guy. Now, shout out Gunna G's in the back. We over here in the lovely UTM Studios. This place is just beautiful. You know what I mean, beautiful. get over Gunna G's. Make sure we book you some studio time around this. Yes, know? sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. You got a lovely space. But uh, I'm gonna let you get up out of here, man. Is there anything you want to promote? Tell the people where they can find you, all that. Listen, man. He is Melody on all streaming platforms, all social medias. Uh, new song every Monday. Every Monday. Make sure What's you check that. What's tomorrow's date? Oh wait, 
The 26, 26. 626, Play Like That is dropping. All right. Then you're going to see another song next Monday, and another song next Monday, <laughs> and another one, and another one, and another one. And we can just gonna keep it going. Mondays. Yes, sir. Mellow Mondays is back in effect. And, man, it's your boy, Boogie you Game Money. That's one of likely. We out this, y'all. Yo. I'm the man with the iron, leave them all ghosts. Ghost. Throwing shots, eyes closed. That's a no scope. That's a no scope.